Scientists are warning that coral reef ecosystems are dying out quicker than expected as global temperatures are rising. The warning in a global tipping point reported by 160 researchers worldwide comes weeks before this year's COP30 climate summit. A dangerous tipping point is being seen in our oceans due to global warming. Researchers now warn that the world's coral reefs are in an almost irreversible die-off sooner than expected. We have become clearer that we've passed a tipping point for the dieback of uh, perhaps the majority of tropical coral reefs. A new report by 160 researchers ahead of the COP30 climate summit says global warming is accelerating an unstoppable dieback. Tropical coral reefs are already dying off in the heat. Average global temperatures have risen 1.3 to 1.4 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, according to UN and EU science agencies' data, surprising scientists by the speed of change. Andrea Rivera Sosa is from the Coral Reef Alliance. This increase in heat um, has been exponential and it's very high and the reefs are just um, not able to recover. Scientists say the extra heat has caused 80% of coral reefs close to the equator to bleach, which makes them vulnerable to disease and death. Tom Lenton, who's the lead author of the report, says a tipping point of 1.2 degrees Celsius has been crossed, with the worst bleaching event on record over 2024 to 25. So that kind of confirmed our, or, or our collective deduction that, that, that the tipping point, the sort of temperature tipping point for corals was, at, is, was probably below 1.5 degrees C. UN climate experts had set a 1.5 degree limit for temperature rise due to climate change. Now scientists are imploring countries at November's COP30 to work even more on bringing down climate warming carbon emissions. Progress has been made. Renewable energy has generated more electricity than coal for the first time this year, according to non-profit think tank Ember. But coral reef bleaching has already become critical. What happens with coral bleaching is that this symbiosis, this relationship between the animal and the algae becomes disrupted. So um, the algae no longer stays within the tissues of the coral, um, leaving it without its color, um, leaving it weaker and vulnerable because it doesn't receive the, um, the nutrients and the food sources that the algae provides for, for the coral. Reef ecosystems play a vital role supporting marine biodiversity and experts say it's not just about preserving coral ecosystems but also the food and livelihoods they provide to people, particularly in coastal communities.